हेलो एवरीवन शबनम हियर वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल द काउंसलिंग कॉर्नर अ जेंटल रिमाइंडर इन केस यू हैव इट सब्सक्राइब टू माय चैनल प्लीज डू सो टूडेज वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद अ स्टोरी देर वॉज अ फैमिली अ फादर मदर अ सन नेम बालू एंड हिज ग्रैंड फादर बालू वॉज वेरी अटैच टू हिज ग्रैंड फादर अनफॉर्चुनेटली वन डे बालूज ग्रैंड फादर फेल वेरी इल and his mother was cribbing to take care of him suddenly one morning balu's father picked his grandfather from the room and put him in the cart and was about to go somewhere balu came running and asked his father father where are you taking my grandfather father replied i am taking him to the market but balu sensed that something is fishy so he insisted that he would accompany them but balu's father was not okay with that and he started riding the cart balu ran behind and jumped into the cart and his father did not want to waste much time so he continued moving he he went for quite a distance and suddenly he stopped the cart in a deserted place and instructing balu to stay back with the grandfather he took a sickle and walked down Balu waited for 2 hours but his father did not turn back. He became anxious. So he asked his grandfather to wait in the cart and he went out looking for his father. Suddenly he spotted his father digging a pit. He went and stood there and asked his father, "Father, what are you doing?" The father got very irritated and shouted at him asking, "I asked you to stay with grandfather. Why did you come here?" So he replied, "Father, it was quite some time you left. I became anxious, so I came looking out for you." Again he put the same question, "Father, what are you doing?" His father knew that he cannot hide the truth any more. He told his son, "I am digging a grave for your grandfather." Balu was shocked. He shouted, "Grave for grandfather? But he is still alive. How can you bury him alive?" His father replied, "Your grandfather is very old and sick. He is of no more use for us. So I am going to bury him." Balu stood still for some time. Then he walked up to his father. He took the sickle, moved few feet apart, and he started digging. The father asked him, "Now, what are you doing?" He replied, "Father." I am digging a grave for you so that when you one day when you become old and sick I can bring you and bury you next to grandfather The father got shocked he shouted what you are going to do this to your own grand your own father Balu re- uh, replied Dad what's wrong I am only trying to follow the family tradition the father realized his mistake hugged balu cried and told him you have stopped me from committing a big crime then all three returned home and his father narrated what happened to the mother and then they decided to take good care of the grandfather so what have you realized from this story your these days children don't like to listen to instruction they look upon you for inspiration they don't want to do what you ask them to do but they follow what you do so you must be the role model for your children if you respect your parents and take good care of them they would also do the same when you are old but if you ill treat them and don't take good care of them then they will do the same thing it is very sad to note but it is the fact that the demand for old age homes is increasing day by day there are a lot of cases where the children are mistreating or ill treating their parents not only that they are snatching everything they have their property their bank deposits as well as the pension money and then deserting them or dumping them in the old age homes after which they are not even visiting them I would like to share few experiences of mine. 
few years ago i had taken my students to the old age home and they were interacting with them trying to understand how they landed up there they were very touched they came up to me and told me that they would like to revisit the old age home and get some gifts and snacks for them so i told them to check out from them what they exactly they need is majority of them said they don't want any material things but they would be really happy if these children could come and spend some time talking to them they said they miss their family a lot it was really sad to hear that the second experience is that one day i was standing in the bus stop waiting for the bus a lady came to me she seemed to me from a good family and she asked me for some money but i had carried only 200 rupees as i used the card mostly and i told her i don't have money to give her she started crying and she said i feel bad to go around begging i need money to go back to coimbatore i need it for the bus ticket i asked her if no one was along with her she started crying she then conveyed to me that her daughter in law never liked her and she always complained about her to her son that morning they told her that they are going to bangalore for a trip and brought her along they took her to the park they took her around and then made her sit there telling you would be tired we will go and get something for you to eat she was waiting there for 4 hours but they did not turn up she started searching for them and finally realized that they have dumped her there and gone back so she wanted the money to go back to her house the third experience uh, i mean the third thing which i wanted to share is that uh, there was a i mean a son uh, who was very highly qualified and he went off abroad and he was working there initially he used to communicate with his parents regularly and was also sending money for them after a few years he got married and settled down and after which he hardly used to communicate and he also stopped sending money the mother felt very ill and the doctor said she has to undergo a surgery immediately but the mother was not okay with that she had a fear that she might die and before that she wanted to see his son and grandchildren once the friends tried contacting him but he said that he is very busy and he will not be able to come and they will not get the flight tickets also but the mother what the what he had to say is that i will send the money please go ahead with the surgery but the mother was very adamant that she will not undergo the surgery friends tried a lot convincing him but he did not agree he stopped picking the call then suddenly they called him once and communicated to him that the father has decided that he had a big house to donate the house to the old age home and to stay there just half an hour after the call they got a call back telling that they are booking the flight tickets and they would be landing very soon it's very shocking to note that the son did not want to come for the sake of the parents who have sacrificed their entire life and their desires for him but for the sake of the house he had a fear that he will lose the house i have come across a lot of cases where once the son gets married the wife starts claiming that he is my husband and whatever he earns belongs to me one thing what we have to realize is that if the husband is in a good position and he is earning and giving a comfortable life that is the sacrifice and the hard work of his parents for which they have to have gratitude towards them it's very simple whether it is a male or a female you need to respect and accept each other's parent as your own parents and take good care of them because what you do to them your children will do the same thing to you you get back what you give hope this information was useful to you please do share my video as much as possible thank you so much